Let's get into Biden first. Oh my gosh, Biden. There's a few things that I'm going to touch on. They all revolve around Biden though. And I'm going to I'm going to lead into it, all right, by bringing up the fact that Mississippi is now following suit with Texas and saying no more mask mandates. We're opening the state up. Bravo, bravo, Mississippi, bravo. And uh, I'm very excited to hear it. I hear, I think maybe Alabama might be doing it too. Either way, check this out. This is, of course, is the left freaking out. Uh, the best Louisiana memes about its neighbors recklessly reopening. Now this, you're so biased. Because SOS, okay, calm, calm down. Now this, all right? Now we, I'm just going to show you some of these memes because they're, they're just like, come on. All right, I'm not gonna read it because they're just complaining that uh, Louisiana's in in fear of its life when Louisianian Louisianians, how would you say that Lu Louisi Louisianians? I think that must be it. I don't know. I think they probably feel the same. They're like, open up. What what up, man? Like, come on. Oh, of course, Stephen King has something to say. Oh no, why? I don't want this. Okay. Stephen King, Greg Abbott's decision to reopen Texas is premature. <clears throat> or is it? Or or is it? I mean, look at look at the statistics of mask mandate states versus non-mask ma mandate states. Florida and New York, they actually have very similar lines. If you compare the, the graphs, whatever, I don't actually have it uh, up right now, but it makes me think about it. But uh, yeah, so... Texas governor lifted all coronavirus restrictions on businesses, rescinds mask mandate. I was like, all right. I reported on that yesterday. Well, Mississippi is following suit, lifts mask mandate for all counties. Very nice. Very nice. My body, my choice. If you feel like you need to wear a mask to feel comfortable in the public eye, do it. Wear a mask. And that's what actually both of these governors say. They're not saying be, be irresponsible. They're saying, look, if you feel the need to wear a mask, by all means, wear a mask. But we can't mandate people to do it anymore. OK, the, the, the hospitals aren't overwhelmed right now. We can handle it like it's fine. Let, let's open up the economy. I agree with that. And then we've got. So, so now that that I mean, hopefully, you know about this by now. But I want to just bring up something that, um, of course, Biden um, what does he say? Oh, yeah. He calls them all Neanderthals. Uh, it's a Neanderthal decision to end mask mandates. He straight up calls these governors Neanderthals. Like, really? They're because they're su supporting small businesses and trying to keep the economy open and uh, letting people make their own decisions for their lives? Because that's really what it's about, right? He on a, on a live stream on Periscope today, which had, by the way, 188 viewers. Yeah, and I was one of them. So 187 other people were watching this of the most popular president in history. There was more people watching the, the starship planning on going out into the sky. I think there was like 200,000 people watching that. Granted, that was when it was landing. I don't actually have that picture, but 188 people were watching Biden speak. Nancy Pelosi did this puff piece beforehand talking about how her grandchildren knew Joe Biden and he took them to a candy store. I'm not joking. She straight up told this story with a smile on her face. Like, we don't know that Joe Biden's really creepy around kids. And you're talking about how your your grandkids have known Joe Biden for a long time and they don't use the term open sesame. They say open Biden. That's that's their that's like some sort of weird joke that they have. Your grandkids have with Joe Biden. OK, whoa. This is weird, all right? And then she introduced him, get this. I have the pleasure to introduce the 45th president of the United States, Joseph Biden. That's right, she said 45th. Uh, 46th, 6th, uh, she's old. I guess we'll, we'll give her that, right? Give her, give her that. But then Biden went on to say, he was talking a bunch of stuff, like how dare they open up, whatever. And he goes, we got to we got to get all these people that don't trust the government. We don't th this is not good that people don't trust the government. You must trust the government, trust the science, you know, and and unity when you're also calling them Neanderthals for opening up and then you're saying if you don't trust the government, you're a problem. It's like, "Whoa, man, like the government doesn't control us, right? We the people." That's the whole 
thing with the constitution we the people we're supposed to control you know we make the decisions because we all vote on them not you telling us what to do that's why these governors that are saying hey look these mask mask mandates we're going to end them because you know it's not okay it's like he he really just wants to do whatever he wants to do look at this this for this is an example here the biden administration will not allow reporters to tour child migrant detention facilities kids in cages they cite covid-19 hmm okay well where are these where are these um let's see Biden administration will not allow reporters to tour juvenile detention facilities now housing unaccompanied minors who came across the United States-Mexico border seeking asylum. Reporters will not be allowed inside the Chorizo Springs facility. Uh, well, blah, 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 blah. Uh, and where is it? In Texas. A Health and Human Services Administration uh, says, wait a minute. But Texas is opening up 100% as of Wednesday, next week, March 10th. So then can they uh, tour the facilities and, and show the public that it's still kids in cages? Because that's what they're doing. Migrant facilities. They're spending more money on these children than, the, than uh, other Americans that need the help. All this, I mean, I see AOC crying about how, like, you know, equality and everyone needs all this stuff. And yet they're spending all this money on non-citizens it's like when are we going to help our own citizens we can't we can't go tour the facility because what because of covid all right well in texas they opened up 100 percent. yeah why not why not what's this oh yeah they're now charging reporters 170 dollars for a covid test before entering the white house now that's daily okay daily they have to spend 170 dollars every single time they go in to the white house free press bs all right who's going to be able to afford that only the top of the top that can afford 170 dollars a day that's not cheap that adds up real quick right that's almost a thousand bucks a week almost but still like what the heck so who, who's going to be able to afford this well it's going to be cnn msnbc it's going to be a real circle party a, a, a circle of jerks, if you will, who will love to sit and be told that they will get circle back. To, they'll circle back to them in their circle of jerks in the White House. That's what they want. They just want an echo chamber. People that don't just follow the narrative. Look, if you can't afford it, well, I guess you just can't go. Right? I mean, I'm sick of it. It's so clear that, that Joe Biden wants people to just, you know, shut up and accept how dare you not go with what we're saying follow the science and the science uh, the scientists that we paid off clearly say that we're right in this situation right nancy and she, nancy's like yes sunday morning yes it is yes yes it is a sunday morning it is ridiculous now we have a bipartisan bill i don't have this this uh this up let me see if i can find it real quick there is a bipartisan bill that they just introduced to try to get rid of Biden's ability to for uh, hold on. Let me see if I can find this real quick. They want to remove his ability to for like the war button. I want to uh, I can't find it. That's all right. Essentially, they want to like disarm the president of the United States. Why? Well, because he's got access to the button. He's got access to the football. He can make mistakes. They clearly don't trust his brain. I wonder why. Because he's an old man that isn't coherent, who probably can't do the State of the Union address because he can't be seen in public without a teleprompter. He can't. Every time he speaks, he says something terrible. Even with a teleprompter. You think he's going to do the State of the, the Address, State of the Union address anytime soon? No way! They are deathly afraid of watch, letting this man speak out in the, in the wild, out in the public realm. They, they are afraid, and I don't blame them. I, I, he's going to say something he's not supposed to. He, he does it almost every single time. Yeah, chat's like, yep, because he's senile. Yes, dementia. Dementia is really setting in. Clearly. Right? Biden. My goodness, man. I'm going to spin this UFO for you, sir. 
Not that you deserve it, because I feel bad for him. I, it's hard to feel bad for him because I feel like he's done it to himself, but I mean, he really does feel like the, <laughs> like a joke, man. He's a joke.